I was just talking about the Soul Vaccination beat, which is Dave Garibaldi's drum groove in the Tower Power song Soul Vaccination. Uh, and the reason why I'm demonstrating that groove right now is, one, it's a great beat to learn, and it's a very famous beat. It's also very difficult, but it directly ties into one of our workouts that we do on the Drummer's Almanac, which is our informal accent workout. Uh, so I've had a couple of students ask me, while we're practicing all these downstrokes and upstrokes, how does this apply to something on the drum set? And in this beat, Dave Garibaldi uses these techniques that we are conditioning over and over again every week. Again, for those of you that are unfamiliar with the Drummer's Almanac, basically... Um, the main crux of what we do in addition to drum lessons and whatnot is a daily practice session Monday through Friday. And you get in there and we work on a different technique, including this one, for an hour every single day. Uh, and it's all about conditioning. It's all about doing the same exercise and really getting in there, staying focused, staying in there. You follow me. We keep it in time. It's a great, great workout. So if it's something you're not involved in yet, definitely worth checking out. Okay, let's go ahead and break down this beat. So basically what we're talking about is a rudiment. And the rudiment that we're going to be working on with this particular groove is a Swiss triplet. And this is how I believe Dave Garibaldi came across and, and developed this particular beat. Now, I've never talked to Dave, so I'm not really sure, but that's the way I've came to understand it just from transcribing it, playing it with bands, and working it out myself. So a Swiss triplet essentially is, if we do it from the right side, is a right flam. Notice I'm switching the flam. Then a right tap. Then a left tap. Okay, now that's going to set me up if you notice the other back to the original position. So it's not going to alternate. Flam, tap, tap. And as I come down with that other tap, I reset my right hand. Flam, tap, tap. Flam, tap, tap. Flam, tap, tap. Flam, tap, tap. We call this a Swiss or Swiss Army triplet. And it's like the bastard cousin of the flam accent, which is the alternating version of that. Flam accent's a little trickier to do. A Swiss triplet since it doesn't alternate, keeps that, that flow nice and steady. So it's something really nice to practice. So you're probably asking why, how, or how does this relate to this groove that Dave Garibaldi played? Well, it's exactly the pattern that he's using. He's just splitting his right hand and left hand across the snare drum and the hi-hat. So now he's got this. So it's good to practice just that, getting the flam, tap, tap, flam, tap, tap, right, right, left, right, right, left, and they come together on the flam. Notice the flam is together across the hi-hat and snare drum, and that's giving you that Swiss triplet, but split across the drums. Now, here's where the accents come into play. For those of you that do study on the Drummer's Almanac and you do understand the informal or the molar accents, I'm not going to go too deep into it right now because it's something that we do go over at least once a week. Um, you're going to do what's called a pullout. A pullout is an upstroke and a downstroke, and we're going to use the informal style and get the whip in there. So upstroke, downstroke with the same hand. The other style that we're going to practice is the control tap, control tap, or down tap. So that combination of accents. Now with the Swiss triplet, if you notice, if I keep on playing this, I get two on each hand. I have two on the right hand, two on the left hand. They're coming together on that flam. Now the trick is with this left hand on the snare drum. We're going to do the first two Swiss triplets with a pullout. And then the last one with a control tap. So now you're going to get this. Right pull out, right pull out, control tap. Now notice the right hand is pretty much staying inside that shuffle pattern, not really accenting it. Just keeping it straight. So if we keep this going, I'm going to add the Swiss triplet to it. And we got... You feel that? And now we're going to add the pull out and the control tap. So we got pull out, pull out, control tap. Okay, once again, very slow. Tap, pull out, tap, pull out, tap, control tap. Now you got to practice that over and over again. So we have pull out, pull out, control tap. Now at the end of the groove, after you work out that pull out and control tap, he's going to do like a E and a four end. E and a four end. E and a four end. So I'm doing right, left, left, right, right. Now I'm also adding a little pickup that gives me another flam. Do you notice that? E and a four end. So the a is going to come together with your snare and your hi-hat. E and together four end. E and together four 
10, and that's going to round out the beat. So let's show you quickly, very slowly, on the drum set. And we're going to keep these settings the way they are. So you can hear me talk. I'll just play it very quiet. So the whole way through the groove is going to be starting with the Swiss triplet. Now we're going to go ahead and add those pull out and control tap. You see that? So now we have that feeling. Now we're going to add the E end of 4 end to round it out and keep it in 4-4. Four, four. So we have this. That's what you're trying to get. Now these accents that we practice every week in the Drummer's Almanac are designed to get you good at feeling that. And it gives you this idea of two different sound sources coming from one drum. You have your accent sound and your quiet tap stroke or unaccented sound. You really got to make those very, very clear or else you don't really make this, this groove won't really stand out. So that pretty much wraps up this lesson on how these accents apply directly to a very, very cool drum beat. Again, if you don't follow the drummersalmanac.com, definitely come to the site, visit us over there, see what it's all about. Follow us on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, and definitely like us on Facebook. And we'll see you guys soon.